federal government spends upwards of $500 billion annually on contracts for goods and services. This represents about a half of all discretionary spending. Young and I were interested to find out exactly how governments spend uh, that $500 billion. Specifically, we wanted to see the degree to which government agencies used fixed price contracts, which put the burden of cost overruns on the vendor, uh, in comparison to cost reimbursement contracts, which put the burden of cost overruns on the purchasing agency. The Obama administration has guided federal agencies to expand the use of fixed price contracts. We looked at five years of contract actions from three federal agencies, the Department of Defense, the Department of Homeland Security, and the Department of Health and Human Services. All three of these agencies are big purchasers through contracts. By and large, what we found was consistent with expectations. About three quarters of all contract actions were done using a fixed price type contract. When we looked only at simple services like landscaping or refuse collection, uh, federal agencies in our sample relied almost exclusively on fixed price contracts. When we looked at complex services like information technology or advanced weapon systems, the use of cost reimbursement contracts increased. That's to be expected given the challenges of figuring out how to make and build these types of goods and services. What we didn't expect to find was that when many agencies entered into fixed price contracts, they often extended the life of those contracts through perfectly legal options to renew or extend the contract. This had the complementary effect of raising the dollar value of those contracts or the amount of money that the agency was um, authorized to deliver to a single vendor. This finding in particular has importance for federal contracting practice. An important premise behind the Obama administration's drive to increase the use of fixed price contracts is the notion that competition drives better value. That's lower price or higher quality. On the one hand, it may be that by extending the life of a contract through options for, for renewal, that an agency is able to entice a vendor to offer a better value at the beginning of the relationship. Again, a lower cost or a higher quality product. On the other hand, by turning what are initially competitively bid fixed price arrangements into long-term sole source relationships, agencies may be foregoing the benefits of the marketplace. It's certainly a question worthy of future research. Mm -hmm.